Hi everyone, we're going to continue to talk about transformations, but this time we're going to look at the absolute value function that you learned about yesterday with Mrs. Herbert. So to review, our function equals absolute value of x. It looks like this, where all values are above the x-axis, on or above the x-axis, they're positive. Here is our table. So every negative number becomes a positive, every positive stays positive. This is our parent function. We're going to take our function f of x and make it absolute value of x specific. So to f of x, now we're replacing that f of x with absolute value of x. So just like before, this is a vertical stretch by 2. It's on the outside. Negative f of x we can replace the function with any function, in this case, negative absolute value of x, and that's a reflection over the x-axis. f of x minus 3 on the inside, we can replace it where x minus 3 is on the inside of the absolute value sign. The function is absolute value of x, and because inside's opposite, it's shift two units right. Lastly, we can have in another example, f of x plus 4, a function plus 4. Our function happens to be absolute value of x, and we're going to add 4. So this is on the outside, so it's a shift 4 units up. For example, if we have 3 absolute value of x, the 3 is on the outside, so we remember that it changes and affects the y values. So here's our parent table for absolute value of x. And there's nothing going on on the inside, so the x's stay the same. I copy them down. But the y's are 3 times y. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 2 is 6. This is a vertical stretch by 3. And if we plot the new transform table on the graph, it looks like this. As you can see, this graph was pulled and vertically stretched in the y direction. It's become narrower. If we take a look at another example, absolute value of x minus 4. It's on the outside, so once again it changes and affects the y value. So we have our parent table for absolute value. Nothing happens to the inside, so they stay the same. We copy it down. On the outside, we subtract 4 from the y's. y minus 4. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3, and 2 minus 4 is negative 2. This is a shift down 4. So as you can see, here are the new points on the graph, and I have taken that blue original parent graph and just moved it down. I moved it down 4 units. Now we have absolute value of 1 third of x. It's on the inside, so it affects the x values. The inside is opposite. So it looks like we're dividing by 3, but we're actually going to be multiplying by 3. We have our parent table. Nothing happens to the y's. There's nothing on the outside, so we copy them down. On the x's, it looks like we're dividing, but we're actually multiplying. It's opposite, 3 times x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 2 is 6. So it looks like we're compressing, but it's actually a horizontal stretch by 3. If we look at our new table of values and we plot those points, we are stretching it in the horizontal direction. And that's why it looks like it's getting fatter. We're pulling it on the horizontal x-axis. Now we have absolute value of x plus 2. Inside changes the x and it's opposite. So we have our parent table. And our y's, nothing happens to them. We're only worried about the inside now. The inside is opposite. So instead of x plus 2, we do x minus 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And 2 minus 2 is 0. It looks like we're going right, but inside's opposite, so it's a shift left 2. And if we plot those points, we can see that. From the blue graph to the orange graph, we're shifting left 2 units. Every point is moved left 2 from its original. To practice writing absolute value functions, that has been shifted 10 units up. So we have the absolute value of x plus 10 on the outside. Vertically compressed by 4, we have 1 fourth absolute value of x on the outside. Shifted 7 units right, inside's opposite, so 
We want it to go right, so it has to look like it's going left. So we have the absolute value of x minus 7 on the inside. Now go ahead and complete your Schoology assignment and feel free to ask any questions that you have. Um, lastly, you're going to want to use your transformation toolkit on this Schoology assignment. So make sure that you have already added over the transformation toolkit slide for absolute values into your bookmarked transformation toolkit. Have a good one. Bye.